the horning young calves is highly beneficial from both a welfare and economic standpoint, and doing it properly can make it easier for calf and the operator. I met up with vet Tom Julian as he dehorned some calves to see how he does it at first hand. A good dehorning crate allows the operator good control over the calf while the job is being completed. Having someone behind the calf is helpful to push the calf forward or back as required. Locking the calf's head down with the over the neck bar helps restrain the calf and putting the calf's nose into a ring tilts the head forward allowing easier access. If injecting an anaesthetic to an older calf, inject 2cc into the corneal nerve on each side of the calf's head. The corneal nerve runs from directly behind the eye to the base of the horn. Insert the needle perpendicular to the skull into the palpable soft tissue one to two inches behind the eye. When you first insert, pull back the plunger to ensure that you are not in a blood vessel and then slowly inject 2cc into the nerve area. You need to allow three to five minutes for this to work effectively. Tom advises to use a 1.2mm by 25mm gauge needle. Surplus hair should be clipped off to allow you better visibility and it also reduces the amount of smoke created during the dehorning process. Have the dehorner red hot when completing the job and keep it applied to the horn bud while you dehorn the calf. The red hot ring is placed over the horn bud and held in place for 10 to 15 seconds. At this point the twisting circular motion can be used to establish a copper ring around the bud. All dehorners operate best when they are red hot. For this reason, many dairy farmers will have two dehorners working rather than waiting for the dehorner to heat up after each calf is dehorned. Always spray the open wounds after the job is completed to help heal the wound and keep flies out.